Medical cannabis vape pens are now legal in Canada, which means you'll soon see them on store shelves at shops like Tokyo Smoke. But just how safe are they? Health officials here at home and in the States are raising some serious concerns about the alarming link between cannabis byproducts and vaping-related illnesses and deaths. The government has had a year to get ready for this, and it seems like be having been committed to it, they haven't been listening to any of the news in the last few months that would uh, and should lead them to be concerned about these products. The U.S. is currently dealing with a major outbreak in vaping-related illnesses, more than 1,400 confirmed or possible cases in almost every U.S. state. What's even more troubling is that cannabis products may play a significant role in those lung injuries. The Center for Disease Control found that of roughly 514 patients who self-reported the substances they used in e-cigarettes, 77 percent said they vaped products containing THC, the main psychoactive ingredient in cannabis. The government of Canada seems oblivious to these risks and has not made any movements to do anything about the planned uh, launch onto the market in just a few weeks time of cannabis vape products. What are they going to do to protect Canadians from the same risks happening here? I think is a question the public should be asking. Health Canada recently released a joint statement on the vaping crisis from the chief public health officer and the chief medical officers in every province and territory. In it, they they acknowledge the CDC's findings, but note that no single product or substance has been linked to all cases. While they say they're monitoring the situation closely, they're encouraging all Canadians to refrain from vaping altogether. We're battling the illicit market, so you're not getting lab tested or verified data or products on the market. And that's a, a huge cause of concern for consumers, and it's a public health and safety issue. Joe Voss is with Leafly Canada. Leafly is touted as the world's largest cannabis information platform, helping users find legal cannabis brands and relevant information. She wouldn't deter the use of cannabis vaping products, maintaining it's a personal choice, but says the regulated products which undergo lab testing for purity and potency would be a safer option. I believe that with legalizing these products and, and bringing uh, healthy and safe products to market, it will actually help deter some of the things that we're seeing right now. Stanbrook disagrees. My fear is that the public, the public will conclude that these products are safer because the government has licensed them for sale. There's a government tax stamp on them. So if the government approves it, it must be safe. But we have no knowledge of anything that would distinguish them. I think for anyone who wants to use cannabis, I would say, say across the board, do not vape cannabis oil at all. As of Thursday, Health Canada says it's received close to 50 applications uh, to sell the new class of cannabis products. As for when you can see them on store shelves, that'll be likely the end of December or early January.